Guys, Jed Walters here, Traffic Golf Centre, Manchester, and we've got a great drill today. We're looking at how we would change a slice into a draw. Now, for a lot of you guys out there, hitting the ball right and getting a square and off massively to the right, especially as the club gets longer, the club face gets a little bit straighter, it gets harder to control. So, what I've created is a drill which is going to help you from hitting the ball off to the right to start hitting the ball straighter and then potentially hitting the ball with the draw, the one shot shot the one swing and shot that we all want to hit we want to hit a draw we want to be able to hit that beautiful looking baby draw swing it out to the right bring it back in onto the target so this is the start point for you if we have a look behind here i've created a runway with my alignment sticks so if we think i'm going to be hitting my balls or aiming to hit my balls out over this black net here so we're trying to hit it straight down the driving range now i've created this runway which is aiming almost 45 degrees out to my right now for you guys out there who hit the ball off to the right me asking you to hit the ball out to the right it's a, a bit of a daunting task it's something that you don't really want to do but it's the only way that we can truly stop hitting a slice we've got to get the golf club swinging from the inside to the outside it's got to start swinging from down behind you here and then away to your right hand side from that point there the only way the ball will stay out to the right is if your club face is looking way open but excuse me if we get the club face in a fairly decent position all by rotating our body then we cracked it we're not going to hit any more slices so i'm going to put a ball in here and I'm going to take my normal setup, so as you can see, setting up to, to hit my ball out onto the driving range there. Now, I'm going to exaggerate this just for a second. I'm going to feel the club come more inside in the backswing than it would normally do. So, we're going to bring it back normally inside, a bit more than normal, and then really concentrate on getting the club and swinging it through the sticks. You know, even trying to see the club travel out to the right. Now... Although the sticks are 45 degrees to the right, in reality, I'm probably going to be somewhere between 10, 15, 16 degrees to the right. We've got flight scope set up, so we'll get some great numbers and great detail on not only the, the direction the club's traveling, but also the club face position as well, so we can see how the ball flies. So I've taken my setup. I'm going to bring it back a little bit more inside than I normally would and really focus on swinging it through the sticks and swinging it away to the right. perfect i've hit that right into the corner so from where i am here i've hit it right almost right over this uh, first basket that we've got there okay that was great we'll have a little look in a second at the flight scope numbers i'll pop them up on the screen in just a second let me hit a couple more so a little bit exaggerated again so we're back inside and away it's great so hitting it nice and straight out to the right one more so really exaggerate, really feeling that club travel away from my body, way into out. There it goes. So after hitting a couple of shots like that, okay, right, let's get rid of this one for a second. So let's make a normal backswing, but leave this stick there just as a visual guide for you to still get the club traveling away to the right. So taken set up I'm going to make normal backswing so the club's going to be travelling further this way more in the backswing so we'll go further away swinging in a downswing from the inside to the right it's a fantastic strike I've absolutely nutted that really hit it great and it's gone exactly where I want it to straight down the middle of the driving range so again if we have a a little look on here so I'm going to take it more straight back and again so then I've hit that one a little bit further to the right so that'll tell me that my club face is looking a little bit more off to the right so from there if we just have a little look at our flight scope numbers I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on these here so we can see in there 
So let's get a little bit of zoom on there. So that was the last one there. So we can see that, that the club path is a little bit to the right. The club face is nine degrees to the right. So I've literally just pushed it. I've just pushed it away. Prior to that, we can see clubs, the path there is 8.1 degrees to the right. And there was 6.5 degrees to the right with the club face. So my ball is never, ever going to be slicing. 6.2, but the path 5.1 to the right there. Let's bring that one back up. So my ball is never, ever going to be slicing as we go through there. And as long as I get the club traveling away out to the right, I'm always, always going to hit the ball either straight or I'm going to hit it with a lovely little draw. Now the perfect combination there, as we've seen a couple of them, nice pat to the right, club face is a little bit close to that, so the number's a little bit lower. You know, we've got uh, eights and sixes, so that is going to give me the club face position to hit a draw. That's going to get the ball starting with a little bit of hook spin and coming back round. And that is where this drill comes in perfectly for you because you're going to see the ball do exactly that. Now, whether or not you've got flight scope or GC2 or track man, it doesn't really matter. What you've got is a drill which is going to get your golf club traveling away from your body rather than traveling over and across the front of your body. So this way is going to cause you to slice it. This way is going to cause you to hit the ball straight or with a beautiful little draw. So practice it, it is a great drill. Trust me, it will work for you. Leave me some comments, let me know how this drill is working for you. It is guaranteed to stop you from slicing the golf ball. As I say, the only way it will go curving off to the right is if your club face is way, way open to the path. That's the only way. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. More of this content is gonna be coming up there very, very soon. And enjoy your golf.